Siphons allow us to move water from one level to another lower level. I used a bell siphon to establish a flood and drain system for our aquaponics grow bay. Bell siphons operate without electricity, relies instead on the forces of water, air, and gravity. This is our new grow bed, and I'll show you exactly how we set up our bell siphon. The components consist of a shroud, which is a PVC pipe with a bunch of holes drilled into it. This keeps the roots and the debris out of the plant. This is the bell siphon. It consists of a piece of PVC pipe and a cap, and is notched along a bottom. The notches aid in drawing water into the siphon. Fixed into the bed in the bulkhead is a standpipe, which is then covered by the siphon. Water flows in through the bottom and fills up to the level of the standpipe. This creates the suction needed to pull the water from the bed up into the siphon and down into the standpipe. Come down out of the pipe and then we'll run along here and into the tank. I've also installed a weep hole in this grow bed. We have this in case the pump fails before the siphon is activated. The water then drains from the bed, but at a slower rate. Water is pumped from the fish tank into the pipe, goes through a control valve, and then empties into the grow bed. Once the bed is filled with water, we'll want it to drain. This is where the bell siphon does its work. Bob takes out the PVC siphon and replaces it with a plastic water bottle so you can see the action inside the bell siphon. The water level in the bell siphon reaches the top of the standpipe. Air is displaced as the water starts to flow down into the pipe, creating suction within the bell siphon. This draws water from the bed up into the siphon. The water is then sucked down into the plumbing and goes back to the fish tank. The suction maintains the flow of water until the bed empties and the water level drops below the notched bottom of the siphon. The suction breaks and the cycle starts again when the pump in the tank pumps fish water into the grow bed. Remember, always wash your clay pellets before you introduce them into your aquaponic or hydroponic system. posted our first video on the aquaponics project back in August of 2012 when I set up the first fish tank. This project has grown since then and we're running a 100 gallon fish tank with two grow beds. Bell siphons are an important part of our system. They keep the water flowing, recycling it through the fish tanks, creating an environmentally friendly way to maintain these plants. We save water and we save money. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch our series on this ongoing aquaponics project.
Questions or comments? Put them in the comment section below. And subscribe to our channel for more videos on the DIY lifestyle.